Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I have something new for you. I just bought my first uh, decent tripod. This is, oh, sorry. <sighs> this is going to be a review of Sirui SH-15 tripod. So, uh, as I said, this is the first uh, semi-professional or, yeah, semi-professional tripod which I bought. Um, the reason why I chose this one is because basically it is the second cheapest tripod with the maximum load capacity of 10 kilos. Uh, why I bought this one? Two reasons. First, for my really small black magic uh, Ursa, and uh, it's my top top, uh, top stand, which is also the same one which is being used on my Pocket Cinema uh, 4K on my Moza RR. Air 2 R2S uh, So just to give you a quick roundup, it's about 3.3 kilos, super light aluminum made. Uh, it has three elements. Uh, on the bottom side of each one, you can use either a spike while well, just screwing it out, or just use the regular rubber uh, end cap. It has these holders which keep it together, like any other stand. So let's just open it up. Lovely. It has these huge oversized tightening screws. Now you might be wondering, my Ursa is actually exceeding 10 kilos and uh, yes it does, it's more than 12 kilos, but my equipment, I can be responsible. So first I'm going to tighten it just a bit and uh, wait here for one second, I'm going to get my ca camera. So here we are with my beautiful oversized Ursa, which has like 12 kilo or so. Uh, on this one I need to first put the mount for the camera because it has the V mount and then Manfrotto <laughs> adapter. So let's put it in. It's a bit heavy. Okay, lovely. And let's just tighten it up. And it works like a charm. So uh, the thing with the fluid head, of course, first things first, which I should have done before, is my mistake. So please come up here and join me. Here we have the the water level. On the bottom part, we just unscrew it, adjust the water level to the correct position because the floor is uneven here. So yeah, that that should be it. Okay, and now on the bottom part we have the control or fluid motion of the pan. So now when I put it much more on a control, it's much smoother. Here I'm just going to adjust this one because I feel it's a bit too high. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, lovely, and a bit to the outside, just the way I like it. So, like this, beautiful. And now, ready to shoot. So let's turn the camera on. I have beautiful 260 watt hour battery. And let's just unlock this one. Oh, beautiful. It has really, really smooth fluid head, which I love. Amazing. One sec to focus it up. Oh yeah. It's super smooth. You can also just loosen it a bit more like this. Um, I'm not recommending this to do at home because, uh, yeah, as I said, it's it's a bit on a heavier side. You can see it still manages it. Not recommended, but for a price of 200 euros, I think it's an amazing tripod. I don't think you can buy anything better for this money. There's another brand, the Viltrox, I think, but the reason why I didn't buy that one is because basically I did not like the the end caps so much. I also mentioned it has three elements. I only extended two because this is my preferred filming height and uh, yeah basically the reason why I want to share this with you because when I was looking for a tripod I couldn't find a decent uh, um, decent review online and basically yeah that's it for this one I think I've shown you everything there is uh, thank you very much for watching uh, I hope to see you next time uh, and I would really appreciate if you would consider subscribing to my channel and please leave in the comments what you would like to see next Thanks so much.